Baby boy found dead this week is now charged with murder. 32 year old Kristen Berry appeared in a Sarasota courtroom for the very first time this morning. She was extradited back from South Carolina late last night. Chance's father, Joseph Walsh, is also locked up in South Carolina, also waiting to be brought back here to the Bay Area to face murder charges. Meanwhile, tonight in Northport, those who love Chance held a vigil for him. News Channel 8's Chip Osowski was there and shows us how they're remembering that baby boy. Saturday night's vigil was just the first step in the healing process for the people of Northport, many deeply affected by this horrible tragedy, some blaming substance abuse for Chance's death. Dozens held candles, remembering little Chance Walsh. The two-month-old was found buried in a shallow grave not far from here. Chance's grandparents and other family members were among those who attended. They prayed. We are grateful for Chance and we are now certain that he is in your care. Listen to uplifting songs. And prayed some more. We come before you with this family tonight, God, and we ask that you would just speak peace to our troubled hearts. God, we are here tonight. A lot of us have questions like why? Organizers also offered help for those in need. Some speculating Chance's mom and dad never got the help they needed. Substance abuse affects everybody. I think we all have some some level of it, and on whether in our friends or family, you know, the circles that we run, and it it changes people. It changes their lives, and it unfortunately creates people that do things like this. As the memorial was wrapping up, so Chance's grandmother Sally Cecino took the mic. There wasn't a dry eye. We're one big family, and we've stayed this way through this whole thing. And we had belief and faith. Yes, we wish it had come to be a different way. Absolutely. But we're forever grateful to everyone who came together and prayed. We brought him back to us. You brought him home. And now he'll forever be in God's house. The vigil only lasted for about an hour, wrapping up at 8.30. In Northport, I'm Chip Osowski, News Channel 8. And while we are learning more about the events leading up to Chance Walsh's death and the discovery of the baby's body, detectives have yet to say if they know how the child was murdered.